Yo! All right, so the other night I sat down. I uh, I was wrong about the time frame. It's 10 weeks, and I was wrong about the name of the competition. <laughs> the name of the competition is War for the Sword. It's 10 weeks out. Uh, when I wrote this down, it was 10 weeks and three days. I wrote this down two days ago, I think. 10 weeks. Oh, I did this yesterday. <laughs> 10 weeks, two days away. War for the Sword. It's August 25th, right? Today's the 25th? What's today's date? So... Yeah, today's the 25th. So, I have it marked down for deadlifts today, but we're gonna do chest because the amount of weight that I have to pull for deadlifts, uh, I'm gonna need a fucking rest day after that. There's a lot of weight. So, it's not a lot of weights. I mean, it's a decent amount of weight for volume. It's not really volume, but. So, we're gonna do chest today. So, this is a 10 week program to lead up into the competition. So, the deadlifts tomorrow are gonna go up to 370 pounds, which isn't much, but right now I'm super fucking weak. So, today we're gonna do bench because like I said the day exercises for tomorrow is three sets of three 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 reps of 265 three reps of 305 three reps of 345 and then it's one rep of 345 again and it's after that it's one rep of 370 then after that I have to do what's called the 531 reps and sets which is uh, five reps three reps one rep and the uh, percentages is 75 85 and 95 percent so at that rate that's the percentages of my one rep mag so then I'll have to do 285 for five 320 for three and then 365 for one so I'll be up around the 370 345 to 370 area for a total of one two three reps uh, but those are all singles the cool part about the first the beginning of the deadlift sets is I'm training 85% of my goal and 95% of my goal but I'm gonna do that tomorrow instead of doing it today that way I have the weekend to recuperate and then get going strong on the 10 week program starting Monday food intake getting the fucking weight moving uh, taking the rest days as needed rest days I train two on one off two on two off uh, every day I do squats or deadlifts the next day is off because the amount of weight that I'm moving is more than fucking bench press uh, I'm supposed to be doing uh, shoulder press or military press uh, whatever you want to call it uh, I'll do that in the 10 week uh, as well along with pin press now so today is bench three sets of three uh, 170 195 and 220 and then I have 185 percent of the goal which is 220 and then one at 92.5 percent of the meat goal which is 240 pounds so I'll be hitting 240 today and I'll have to do the bench 531 system 75 85 95 percent of my one rep max not a goal of my one rep max which will put me at 180 205 and 230 so it's the same system as the deadlift system it's just doing it for bench uh i have pull downs at 135 pounds five sets of 10 i knocked it down 30 pounds because after i move all this weight we'll see where i'm at if 135 is way too light i'll uh, i'll go up normally i do 160 let's go uh tricep press downs and face pulls Super set, 100 reps each. It's just one set of 100 reps, or however I can get the 100 reps out. Uh, so I think I'll probably do sets of 25, four sets of 25. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, so we'll get some warm ups in. If you have any questions on the programming and how I figured it out, drop it in the comment section. I'll show you how I figured it out. Uh, if you like the content, give it a like, share it to friends. If you're just starting off training and you want to train for strength, you can build strength along with me, side by side. You do my workouts. You do you do your max your max weight. Uh, you set up the programming. The link in the description below on the 531 program. There's also the West Side template down there. The West Side, I would suggest doing that if you're starting off because it's just easy to follow. It's a couple pages and it just it tells you exactly what to do. You just follow it. It's uh it's it's easy programming. It's hard to I guess accomplish. It's not hard to accomplish. It's just there's some shit in there. Uh, I like this because of this programming right here. The uh, working up 10 weeks out. I'm doing four weeks of this and then it'll be four weeks of this again, but no accessories. It'll be just the main main body of work and then it'll work us right into the competition The competition is only a push-pull meaning it's a bench press and a deadlift. Uh, there's no squats They don't have squats in this meet. This is called a push-pull meet. Uh, I'm gonna do the Ironman open uh, it's Bench press and deadlift and being that it's open I'll be versus whoever the hell is there. That's also an open I'm not gonna go up on my rate my age range guys in my age range are strong as fuck The open is kind of for beginners. I think I don't know at any time I ever went I do do the open but I was younger too fuck the last the last competition i did i think was in 2018 2019 so this will be the first one since then and uh my numbers are actually gonna be lower than my last meet my last meet i was was uh i was pretty fucking strong all right here we go we're gonna do warm-up uh it's a lot of a lot of benching today let's get it going
So this is the first working set. All I did was warm up my rotator. And I figured I'd do the, the warm up sets on bench. This is the first working set. This is only 170. First working set of three. Three sets of three. The first set will be 170, 195, and then 220. Then we're gonna go 220 again for one, and 240 for one. Uh, but I have to do a set of 220 for three before the, the, the one single. This is just, uh, it's called programming. This is so, your time under tension, tension being the weight, time under the weight uh, results in weight moved, which is strength gained. All right, so we're gonna hit this for three and then go on up 195. Let's go. Yo, so that's 240 for one. Dude, the other two sets, or whatever, my last fucking couple sets, I had my hand position wrong every time I fucking had the hand on the bar. I feel like my hand was being ripped apart. It was just fucking the wrong position. All right, so that's that. Oh yeah, the 220 for three, it did it. The 220 for one did it. 240 was fine, it didn't do it. So now I gotta go back to 180 for five reps. Let's go.
the weeks progress, uh, I'm gonna do more than just that one single at the uh, the normal five three one percentages. I only did the one single today. I have ten weeks before the lit before the meet, so I have time to increase and decrease, increase and decrease. Uh, fuck my sense of nervous system. Uh, pull downs. I had one thirty five. I'm going to go to one forty because all it is on is two forty fives and two twenty fives for one forty. So we'll do that, five sets of 10, let's go. Press up press downs, 100 reps each. So I'm doing 25 reps a piece. Put 30 pounds on that uh, for the press downs. Uh, we'll see what I'm thinking 25 reps, 30, I don't know, 25 for 25. I just went one up, five pounds up, uh, 30 for 25. I have four sets of that. And then uh, face pulls, band pull aparts, whatever. Uh, 25 reps a piece. Let's go.
fucking 30 pounds. Once it got up towards 25, this is starting to fucking burn, dude. Then he got this blue bag. Face pulls. So, that's not too bad. I could probably go up with that or pull it, pull it apart harder. All right, so that's it. If you like the content, give it a like. If you got any questions or comments, drop down below. Link in the description for the 531. See me through to the end. War for the Sword, November 5th. It's gonna, I believe it's in Warren, Pennsylvania. If any of you are close by, you guys wanna come over and bust my ball. November 5th, I believe it starts at like 9 a.m. I'll give you more updates as I know more. Uh, I could be wrong, I was wrong about everything else. All right, man, so like it, subscribe, hit the notification, drop videos three to four to five times a week. All right, I'll see you guys later. Later!